Tale of the tape, HDFC Bank versus SBI. What is your own reading in terms of how things will play out? Because at the end of the day, in a slow growth environment, state-run banks typically benefit from a heavy deposit flows and strong deposit growth. And SBI has already seen that. Now, why the stock is down here today is obviously because of its controversial exposure to Adani. But do you think that from a valuation standpoint, there's more upside here versus an HDFC combined with HDFC Bank? Uh, so, uh, Tanvi, thanks. Thank you for having me. I think I think there is valuation comfort, as you rightly said. It, it trades at about one time F525 uh, book value. Uh, the bank has also shown a good turnaround in uh, asset quality metrics. The way it's uh, transformed its lending book to a retail book. A lot of digital initiatives as well. And I've not seen the balance sheet uh, uh, shape up so well in SBI for last ten years. I think the asset quality, credit cost, net interest margin are benign. But if you look at a more constructive long-term view, you know, I would still go with HDFC Bank. Uh, reason being, you pointed out the merger. This merger has huge implications. Uh, uh, so it will create a big financial bemoat, uh, you know, with almost a 23, 24 trillion book, which is almost about $300 billion. Uh, and they're likely to disrupt a lot of spaces. So MSME, for example, they are already leading. They are adding, they have guided for, you know, 2 to 3% market share movement there. Uh, the gold loan, agri loan book, they are currently just 0.7%. Uh, they are likely to disrupt that for a lot of regional banks. The mortgage, I mean, the combined market share post-merger would be 20%. So that's another market they are likely to uh, uh, disrupt. So I think, and if you go by HDFC last 20 years, then we, it's grown at 20%, uh, 18 out of those 20 years, with excellent governance and credit underwriting standards. So, and, and as you pointed out, in an environment like this, the deposit growth could be a differentiator. So if you see last quarter, and this has actually grown 20% on deposits. So I, I would go on the long term more with uh, more with SDFC.